What is up guys, Rick Kakis here, and today I want to make a quick video discussing some new information involving a pretty big topic as of late, and that is Destiny 2 on the newly unveiled Xbox One X. Now, it was unveiled at E3, and it's claimed to be the world's most powerful console. It certainly has some pretty good specs, especially for the $4.99 price tag, I will admit that. But a lot of players are now wondering, okay, what does this mean for games? And of course, Destiny fans are specifically wondering about Destiny 2. What does this mean for Destiny 2? Can the Xbox One X run Destiny 2 at higher specs you know, than other consoles, certainly when compared to the PS4 Pro. Well, again, we've got some new information involving that. Now, this new information comes from a set of tweets from Mark Noseworthy, who is the Destiny 2 Project Lead. So it's a pretty big guy within the Destiny development. Now, the first tweet, before we get into it, let's get some context. It has already been kind of unveiled that the Xbox One X will run Destiny 2 at 30 frames per second. Now, that's definitely a little bit disappointing, and a lot of players were crying foul. They were saying, well, this is kind of weird. Can't the Xbox One X run Destiny at 60 frames per second? What if PlayStation, who we know is partnered with Bungie, with Destiny, like Destiny 2 is getting PlayStation exclusives, what if PlayStation said, listen, you guys are running on 30 on the Xbox One X, we don't want any of this 60 shenanigans, it's gonna make us look bad. That was a claim, I'm not making that claim, that was a claim I've heard from a lot of people. Well, responding to this, Mark Noseworthy says in his first tweet of four, we would never hold back game performance on a platform to appease a partner. No partners asked us either. So that's, you know, straight from the horse's mouth, claiming that no, that's not the case. We're not holding Destiny 2 back. It's just not possible to run at 60 on the Xbox One X. Take that, you know, as you will, guys, but that is the official word on the situation. He then goes on to continue with the other four tweets. We optimize for each platform's tech to deliver the best social action game experience we can, period. All consoles will run on 30 FPS to deliver Destiny 2's AI counts, environment sizes, and number of players. They are all CPU bound. And lastly, we are currently evaluating 4K for the Xbox One X. It launches after Destiny 2, and so we are focused on the launch consoles right now. However, the Xbox One X does potentially have a chance to run Destiny 2 in true 4K, which would give it somewhat of an advantage over the PlayStation 4 Pro. And that's because the PS4 Pro often doesn't have quote-unquote true 4K, but rather upscales from 2K to fit 4K viewing devices. And people who are very technically minded, and just players in general, kind of want to know these specs before they invest in Destiny 2 for one console or another. I am very confident that Destiny 2 will be in 4K for the Xbox One X. The real question is, will it be true 4K or not? So that is really it for the official word on Destiny 2 and the Xbox One X. It's going to be 30 frames per second, that's kind of confirmed. 4K is still in the mix. However, before we go here, I want to quickly talk about, because I know there's a lot of PlayStation players watching this, Destiny is played more on the PlayStation than it is on the Xbox, that's just a fact. Honestly, go look up some of Phil Spencer's quotes. Phil Spencer, the head of Xbox. This guy is like a pioneer for gamers. And I've seen a lot of stuff from him coming out of E3 where he is very open. He does not like, like console exclusivities. I remember him talking about, they asked him about the Destiny 2 console exclusives. And he's like, look, we've got stuff exclusive for, I think it was like Assassin's Creed Origins. But he's saying, we're not going to make it so it's entire levels. We denied that because we we don't think it's good for gaming. We don't think it's good for the gamers. Like we don't want other players to suffer just so we can get the exclusives. Like he actually said that. And he's also really trying to push cross console play and saying that the console wars are kind of pointless. And even if you're a PlayStation player, it would actually be pretty awesome to get to play with your friends who are on the Xbox. Like, why can't PlayStation players play with Xbox players? That would be actually sweet and so helpful for the community. 
So I guess what I'm really saying here is, Sony, stop being greedy bastards. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and found this informative. Now, if you did, please remember to help me out by simply rating and especially sharing this video. If you guys want to see more Destiny and Destiny 2 content, be sure to slap that subscribe button. Now, if you guys want to get in touch with me and keep up to date with the latest channel activity, the best way is to follow me on Twitter at Rick Kakis. That's linked in the description down below, as is my Twitch channel, which you can also follow. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, have a good day.